Okay, so I wasn't able to work out on Monday because I came down with a stomach bug and my stomach was a little wretched and twisted and upset, so I didn't work out in order to get my workout in. So I'm feeling better. I know I'm still a little dehydrated. I'm a little under calorie because I wasn't able to eat almost all day Monday or Tuesday. But for the most part, I got all my food in today. I didn't weigh myself since then, so I don't know what my body weight is. I don't know how to affect my metabolism, but I know it's going to affect my weight loss for this week, probably in a negative way because it probably slowed my metabolism down from not being able to eat. But we got a new guy with us today. Come get on camera so I can see. This is Steve. All right, so he might be joining us from here on out. We'll see how committed he is and dedicated he is to this. Let me make sure they can see our face real quick. All right. Yep. Okay. So, so how tall are you? Five nine. Five nine? I'm six foot. You sure? You don't look five nine. You look taller than that. Shouldn't be that good. Okay. So he's four hundred pounds at five nine. All right. I'm two. 49 at six foot. Um, I, for those of you who've watched and paid attention, you know, I came from 261.2 pounds down to 249 in about two weeks or so. And you're right at 400? 392. 392, 392. So we're going to get him in here three days a week with me training. I'm putting him on a diet. If he sticks to it, he's consistent. We can watch how fat and gross he is go from fat and gross like myself to not so fat, not so gross, just like myself, how I'm doing. Because, well, we're all a little fat, we're all a little gross, we all get lazy, but it's time for change. And as long, as long, as long as you still have air in your lungs, you have the ability to change. You can change. There's no law that says it's too late, you're too big, you're too large, you're too old, you're too slow, you're too fat, you're too weak. You always have the ability to get stronger, you always have the ability to get faster, and you always have the ability to do more. If you can walk 10 steps, push it to 11 steps and sit down. And if you get to 11, push it to 12 steps and then 13 steps. Next thing you know, you're walking the block. You always have the ability to get better. There's no such thing as I can't do any more than I can already do now. There is no cap on the ceiling and there is no such thing as too late. So I know I have injuries, I know I have setbacks, but I'm not gonna let that stop me and hold me back from my current fitness goals. And we're gonna get him in shape and we're going to monitor this and progress this as we go. I'm going to go over his diet later. And he's going to do the same routine as me for lifting. I'm going to teach him how to work out. He knows how to work out, but he's never actually done a legitimate routine. So he's going to do a legitimate routine and a legitimate diet. And we're going to watch this weight fall off of him as the days and the calendars go by. So that's it for the intro. Uh, we're going to get started on these weights and get started lifting. And let's, let's get to it. me and him work together um, about how you can bench 315 you can throw it up for a couple reps touch and go different animal than pause and then press and then pause right big time humbling just a little bit right <laughs> yeah, yeah. so so he can put 315 up that's not the issue but whenever you slow down the reps and you have that pause it changes everything i don't want to take anything away from how strong he is because he is very strong but when you have a touch and go bench, it takes a lot more out of you exertion having to pause, right? Yeah. 
So it expends a lot more energy, especially having to hold your breath and flex your abs all the way through until you get to the top. It's night and day. It's night and day. Good, good. So but we're going to progress and get him stronger and get his technique down and develop all the way around because I'm having to redo everything myself. He's going to learn. He's going to learn the right way. I'm excited about this. So that's it for a workout. Um, he hung in there, did pretty much everything I did, hung with the weights that I did. Not that I'm going heavy by any means of the imagination. I'm doing more light volume, muscle pumping, slow controlled static holds and negatives. And he's learning how aggressively taxing on the muscles those movements are. And they are very, uh, very taxing. Compared to how you normally train, just grip and grip, clean and bang. It's, it's night and day, right? Yeah. Like the big difference. Yeah. I mean, you can just grab something and just jack it up, but when you control it as much as that and pause, you can move right there you before. Yeah. Especially on the shoulders. Yeah, I think. So we're sculpting the body. I, I'm a power lifter by heart, but due to the, the long set injuries that I've had over the years, I, I still do a, a power lifting routine but I kind of switch it more towards bodybuilding style with volumes and reps just because that's the way I prefer to train. But it's about sculpting the body. And, and I want to be very clear about something. Whenever I say that he's fat and gross, I'm not saying he's a bad person or a disgusting person. What I'm saying is he's come to the conclusion that it's time for a change. And in his mind, he is fat and he's tired of being fat and gross. Just like me, I decided that being 260 some odd pounds, at my size, at my height, there's no reason for that. I'm not competing in powerlifting no more. I'm not holding it for strength. I'm just holding it out of pure laziness, right? It comes to a point where you get lazy and you don't want to do things and you lose your motivation and lack of drive to get up, to aspire to be something better than what you are. And that's the rut and the hole that I fell into whenever I injured my pec and had surgery. I got depressed and I fell in a deep rut. And then I was in that deep channel for a while and I finally crawled out the other side and I was like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm over this. So he's gone through stuff and he has things in his life that put him in a row. We all do. 
And then you, you only have so much motivation in a day. I gotta go to work, I gotta pick the kids up, I gotta go grocery shopping, I gotta pay the bills, I have to cut the yard, I have to do this, I have to do that. There's so many things you have to do in a day that can uh, like deviate you from doing the task of taking care of yourself and focusing on yourself. From dieting, to working out, to giving up and being active. Does it mean that he sat on the couch and did nothing with his life? No. But there's other things and other choices in life to eat that makes your life simpler. So instead of coming home and cooking food and saying, oh, let's just pick something up to eat because we have this and this we have to go do. And then you end up falling victim of that habit of convenience of eating bad food that has a surplus of calories that you get no nutrition out of at all. And then it ends up becoming a product, right? And I was there too. I mean, y'all go back to the first video on this channel. Well, not the first, but the second video. The name of the, the video is Fat and Gross because that's how I feel about myself. And I don't compare him to me. And I'm not saying, well, I think I'm fat and gross or what do I think of him. I will never compare him to me and me to him. He says on person, I'm comparing myself to me and everything I've done and what I used to look like and what I used to to hold as a weightlifter, bodybuilder, powerlifter. So I compare myself to my old self and what I know my potential is. He compares himself to his potential and what he can become and what he can do with himself. It's not about insulting or criticizing. It's about being realistic with yourself, being honest with yourself and be like, okay, what do I need to do to change and how do I change that? And how do I come out the other end consistently change? Not, I'm gonna do this for a little bit of time, I'm gonna lose a little bit of weight, I'm gonna feel better about myself, and then I'm just gonna go back to doing what I was doing and become more soft than I was from before this, right? So the whole concept is you have to be honest with yourself and you have to have a reality check and realize like, I need to change. And I don't mean just my diet and my training, but I need to change me as a person and my mindset and my way of behaving and thinking then you also have to find a diet that works for you and you can stick to. You have to find a training program that fits your schedule with the rest of your life that you can stick to and you can actually hold that down. And that's what I'm helping him with. I'm gonna help him navigate those waters. He's on the road, hey man, I'm out of town, these are my options. All right, man, this is what you can choose, this is what you can eat. Hey man, I'm, I'm staring down the barrel of a bag of Oreos, what do I do? All right, man, this is what I need you to do, man. Come on, thank you for calling. Hey, man, I messed up and I slipped hard and I went out and I ate blah, 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 blah. All right, well, look, why did we get to that point? Check the diet, check the training, check the nutrition, check the boredom, check your mental state. Why did you end up breaking on your diet? There's an underlining cause. It's not just because, well, you know, I'm a fat individual that doesn't care. No, there's always something else. It could be just straight boredom and you need to be occupying your mind and your mindset with something. So, and there's a lot of people that strive and they want to make change, they just don't know how to make change. I've been doing this for a long time. Do I have the body to show it as good as others? No, but I've been through the ringer from bodybuilding to powerlifting to injury to rehab to injury to rehab to competing to injury to rehab. I've been there, I've done it. I know the ins and outs and the struggles and the reality of how hard it is when we have kids and a wife and family. So when I say that he's fat and gross, this isn't an insult to him, it's a reality check for his like mental capacity, but yes, this is realistic. It's it's like if you tell someone they have cancer, they have the right to go, what? what? Since when? But if you tell someone they're fat and they go, what? Since when? Hey buddy, that didn't creep up on you overnight. That wasn't just the all of a sudden, oh my God, I woke up and I looked like this from 180 pounds to 400? No. If you have all that time to put that weight on and slowly accrue that body, it's going to take a long time to reverse that body. Now, people get in these mindsets where they're like, a year and a half, two years? Well, I'll just go on another 30 years looking like this and happen to go through two years of training to look like the way I want to look. I'd rather struggle putting my shoes on. I'd rather struggle putting my pants on. I want to have to fight with my lungs climbing up three flights of stairs instead of going through two years of change slowly, consecutively over time that I can change my life and my habits to be consistent for the rest of my life so I can do normal functions and activities and enjoy the rest of my life. That's not worth it to me. I'd rather be fat and gross the next 30 years and spend the next two years working on myself. That's a weak mental mindset. And a lot of people have that because they don't know where to go. The personal trainers cost so much freaking money. 
diets and nutrition has cost so much money, gyms cost so much freaking money, that anyone that's willing to help you either doesn't know what they're doing or they don't care because they're not being paid for it. And that's the problem with a lot of the obesity, as people don't understand how to get out of that rut. But the first thing you gotta fix is here. And once you fix this, everything else falls in line. It's acceptance of who you became. It doesn't mean that's who you are. It means it's who you became. And now, how do I become what I want to be and get out of what I now become? So that's it for my rant. So y'all are going to be seeing a lot more of him because I'm going to make him come whether he wants to or not because he's my new project. Yeah. All right? All right. Thanks for watching.